I am Private Cathay Williams. I was born into slavery in the 1800s and began life as a house girl. For those who don't know what that is like, imagine being seen but never heard. That was my life. Early in my career, I learned the ways of a military lifestyle by becoming an accomplished cook for then General Sheridan. As the Civil War ended in 1865, I was finally a free woman and I needed to make a life for my own, on my own. It's November of 1866. I am 22 years old and I stand five feet, nine inches tall. For perspective, the average male was five feet, seven inches at that time. With my prior knowledge of military lifestyle and my size, I had options as a free woman. At the time, medical examinations were not required of those who enlisted into the Army. So, I reversed my name and took on a role to ensure the secret of my identity. I was examined and with a historical result, I was declared as William Cathay, fit for duty. And I joined the 38th U.S. Infantry Regiment in 1866 as a Buffalo soldier. In doing that, I secured my place in history as the only documented female Buffalo soldier and as the only documented African-American woman who served in the U.S. Army prior to 1948. I was never put in the guardhouse and no bayonet was ever put to my back. I carried my musket, conducted security guard assignments and other duties while serving in the Army. You're probably wondering how I was able to keep my secret so well kept. We were so overlooked that I had the help of relatives in the same unit as me. After two years of honorable service as a Buffalo soldier in Company A, 38th U.S. Infantry Regiment, I went to see the doctor for only the fourth time in my career and my secret came out that day. I was discharged in 1868 as a Buffalo soldier and because of my illegal enlistment, I was denied a pension. Private William Cathay remained in the Army until October 14th of 1868. Cathay Williams is an improbable pioneer, which makes my life even more significant. My Army service was not brilliant. It was short-lived, but then I was mustered out of the Army, essentially through no fault of my own. I was unhealthy. Further, I was uneducated, probably suffering long-term debilitating disease, what little is known about my life suggests it was difficult. The importance of Cathay Williams does not lie in just recognizing that I am the only documented black woman who served in the regular army during the 18th century. I set the precedent against all odds. Historically, I prevailed despite whatever illness, hardship, discrimination, and anonymity I faced during the course of my life. I carved a small but symbolically important place in the history of the American woman, in the history of African Americans, and in the history of the United States Army.